Hey guys, it's Greta and today I'm going to show you how to get some nice overnight waves. So what you're going to need is a brush and a tail comb that has the pointy end, some clips and elastics. The first thing I'll do is show you how I'm going to section my hair and then we'll get to our braiding. So I already went ahead and sectioned off all my sections except for one because I wanted to leave this one to show you. I've actually decided to use a hairpin, not to be mistaken uh, with a bobby pin, instead of using this alligator clip just because um, I pulled the hair quite tight and it's hard to get these in. So each section I went ahead and just brushed this out. I just twist this and then twist it around itself. Then when you have a small tail left, you can take your hairpin and go around that tail and just through your section. So I'm going to start with the top braid and this is why. When you start at the top, if you happen to forget any couple strands of hair, it'll just fall into the next one down. If you start down here and work your way up, if you have missed a strand of hair, say down here at the nape of your neck, that's just gonna stay out and it doesn't have the opportunity to go back into a braid unless you rebraid the entire thing. So keep that in mind as you're braiding and let's begin. A little tip, when you end up having one strand that is thinner than the rest, what I do is I trade a little bit from a thicker strand and add it into the other one. If you trade in too much, it will look awkward when you start braiding again. But you can kind of do that as you go down I like to keep my ends nice and wet so that they're more manageable. Try to braid as far down as you possibly can. And when you're done, secure this with an elastic. And at the very last pass, don't pull it all the way through. Leave a little loop on the end. This will keep it from having a totally straight end, whereas the rest of the hair will be wavy. All right, so that is the completed braids. We have five. So there's the two on the side, two in the middle, and then one that goes from the front all the way to the back, straight down the center of my head. And I'll give it a spin so you can see what it all looks like. If you do these right after you shower with damp hair, you let them dry and they'll set in place. When your hair is either hot or wet, it's very moldable. And as soon as it's dried or cooled down, it sets in a certain position and won't really budge. It may end up falling or dropping a little bit, but that is what's going to help you create a style overnight while it dries. So my hair was freshly washed and damp. Although my hair does dry very quickly, I had to spray it down with water every once in a while, especially the front areas and the ends. Um, so what I'm going to do now is let them dry 
and as soon as they are dry, I can take them out. So that will be tomorrow morning for me. So I will see you then. Hey guys, it is the next day and my hair is completely dry. Before I take it out, I do wanna give you a little bit of a tip. If you are going to shower with your hair in your braids and you don't wanna get them wet and you don't have a shower cap, what I typically do is I take a clip like this one. I take all the braids up, over, and then over again because my hair is quite long. And then I just clip it to one of the braid sections. And then after that, I'll take like a headband and just cover the hairline and kind of tuck the braids uh, up under that, especially the ends and what kind of loops around the top so that that stays dry while I'm showering. And then obviously keeping my head out from under the water will keep that nice and dry so you don't have to worry about having to let your hair dry because it had gotten wet when you showered. So that being said, let's go ahead and take them out. What I want to do is start on one side at the bottom and work my way up to the top one, then do the bottom one again, and then leave this one for last. That way, when I'm taking the braids out, I never run into a problem where there's hair falling over the section that I'm trying to take out that will be confusing and getting in my way. Depending on the thickness of your hair, your waves might be a little bit um, tighter or a little bit looser. So if you have thicker hair, you'll find that you'll have a looser wave pattern. I have very fine hair with like a medium thickness. Move on to the next one up. You don't want to force your hair out of the braid. You want to gently pull each section down from the stitches of the braid. So after one's done, go to the next one. Don't try and jump ahead because you'll end up having more tangles and running your fingers through your hair more and just causing it to be a little bit more frizzy. One thing I wanna to mention too is this is how my hair typically ends up looking at the bottom. Uh, when I sleep, the rubber bands usually come off so it doesn't have quite that um, rounded look at the end of it so my ends aren't pointing straight up. It's just a little extra wave. Some of them end up a little wavier than others which gives it a bit of a natural look. Another tip for you is that when you are taking out your braid, make sure that every time you bring another section out, have your fingers go all the way through till you reach the end. Because if you don't, what can happen is knots can be created at the bottom. And then as you're going, it'll get more like knottier and knottier and it'll be more and more difficult for you to take that out. So just be careful making sure you're not forcing the hair out and you're being very gentle and just kind of pulling my hands through it. I'm not forcing anything. The more you force, the frizzier, poofier the look will be. By having like Dutch braids with the hair being fed in, you're already going to be, when you're pulling it apart, separating the hair. So it isn't like doing curls and then having to separate them. It's already separated. So this is our finished look. I love when my hair is like big, poofy. I love the waves to me. It's just so fun. I really enjoy like kind of a wave that's a little more messy and free. So this is the look I specifically placed my parts where I do not part my hair typically. So I do part my hair either like down the middle, which would give it a bit of this look. Usually when I have it curly though, I don't like that. I usually like to do more of a deeper side part. So I'll go over um, from this side or the other side. So I will give you a bit of a finished look spin so you can see it from all sides. So 
that is it. I hope you enjoyed this. This was our five Dutch braids uh, into heatless waves. So I hope um, you try this out. If you do, please tag me on Facebook or Instagram at 408 Beauty by Greta. I would love to see it and maybe give you a little bit of shout out. So try your hand at this one. I'll also be doing this as more of a series of like heatless waves or curls. So this is the first one in this series. So look out for those in the future if you're interested in that kind of content. Um, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. I also do um, minimalism videos, ethical living uh, and shopping videos, chemical uh, free living and that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in that content, like I said, please subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.